Pack on the Coach's Corner. John Stanko of IcyGales.com being joined by Melissa Inoue, head coach of the Iowa softball team. Coach, no games this past week, but I saw that your team stayed very busy this past Saturday. Yeah, we uh, surprised them with doing a um, one of those team escape rooms up in White Plains at the Puzzle Parlor, and um, we put them in three different groups. Uh, and they had a lot of fun with it, and, and uh, surprisingly enough, all three groups got, escaped the room, so they had a good time with it on Saturday. Did you have the winning group? Who was the winning team? Do you remember? Uh, I don't remember if there was a direct winning team, but they all did it within, I think, 55, 56 minutes, and even the owner of the facility said that he was impressed at all three and got out in time. <laughs> Gail's, pressing in the, Gail's impressing in the escape room. Uh, you get back to competition this weekend at the District Classic, games against Howard, UMBC, Columbia, and Virginia. What's the biggest challenge, do you think, for your team heading down to D.C. for Saturday and Sunday? Um, if anything, just getting back out. And our, our biggest challenge is ourselves, to be quite honest. I think if we can focus on what we do well and, and improve from the previous weekend, uh, we're going to be okay. And it's a good mixture of teams, if anything. Um, it's all turf facility, uh, which will be nice because um, we do obviously um, play on a couple all turf facilities in the spring. But looking forward to playing again this weekend, and hopefully the weather is uh, – pretty mild if anything you guys drive down there on friday morning do you have any team activities planned for the dc area obviously there's a lot to do besides play softball so i'm wondering if you have anything, anything like that planned yeah friday once we arrive we'll give them some time to get some lunch at a, at a uh, kind of food court mall area and then we'll give them a few hours to kill over in the uh, museum area i've never really personally been to dc directly so i think there's a lot to do but if we can get some team picks in front of the white house and the uh, washington monument i think that'll be good and and hopefully there will be a museum of like for uh, several players, Marnie, Skinner, and spe um, especially. Uh, now, one broad generic coaching question I have is it's, it's early on to end the season. How close do you look at other MAC teams and their non-conference schedule here in this first couple weeks? Because they're playing teams that are either are well above the competition of the MAC or well below. Um, how closely do you look at that? Not really, to be honest. So we just try to focus on ourselves. Um, obviously, I think the MAC in general is doing pretty good for preseason competition. There's been some teams that have been competitive right away, but we don't really focus on anybody else other than ourselves. Now, with no games this past week, I do have some quick fire questions for you here. I did not give these to you ahead of time, so it's going to be straight off the cuff. Uh, just five quick questions for you. Okay. Um, what's the team's favorite drill in practice? Uh, favorite drill? Um... Probably anything with hitting, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of hitting, which coach throws the best soft toss? Soft toss or front toss or live? Those are three different things. How about we go with all of them? Soft toss first. Uh, I think Coach uh, Matt does a pretty good uh, front toss, and then I, I'd like to say I think I throw the best live because I'm most accurate. Coach Matt and Coach Kim are only two weeks into their pitching, <laughs> uh, live pitching careers. Which coach hits the best infield? Uh, probably Coach Kim. Coach Kim does a good job with the um, fungo. Um. Which player leads the rain tarp brigade when the rain starts coming out? Which supplier is most excited to put that tarp on? I think none. <laughs> none of them are very excited to pull the tarp. Uh, but I think in general, obviously, we do ask them to do that quite a bit, whether it's early morning, late at night. But uh, I think it's the perks of uh, having a dirt infield in the Northeast. Well, Coach Inouye, I appreciate your time. Best of luck this weekend down in D.C. Thanks. Go Gales.